What's popping, y'all? You know, that Drake, uh, that Cole, actually, that new Cole drop the other day. Somebody was uh, messaging me on Twitter or replying to me on Twitter, said, man, I got to talk about it. Of course, I was going to talk about it. I mean, I wasn't going to break down the lyrics or anything. You guys can do that yourself. But <laughs> frankly, I just saw the news and I'm disgusted. I, I had to boot this up immediately. It's 1.45 a.m. I was about to go to sleep, get some beauty sleep, wake up early tomorrow, start my day. And I opened up Twitter. And I thought I could have swore this was fake. So I open up Twitter. I see a Pop Crave tweet hop up on my For You on Twitter. And it says the following. J. Cole reveals he regrets dissing Kendrick Lamar on his latest project. The lamest ish I ever did in my effing life. And I'm like, this can't be real. I had to check three times. Is this a parody account? What, what's going on here? So I open up the clip. I can't play the clip for you guys. It's from the Dreamville Festival, which I sincerely hope fails every single year after this one. It sounds like hate, but you know, this is just an emotional outburst for me. All right, I, 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 gotta, I gotta let this off. This is something I, it disgusts me to my core. So I can't play it for you guys. It's an Amazon thing, but it's two and a half minutes three minutes of j cole pretty much the medical the metaphorical he turned around bent over and dropped his pants that's exactly what he just did because keep in mind cole has only shown love to drake and kendrick from what we've seen in the past almost to a degree where he's bending the knee to them you know on some like oh john snow you will bend the knee to the queen like he's bending the knee he's like yeah man i'm just i'm just so blessed to be in the house with you guys you know it's just so amazing that i'm here i can't even believe i'm here i can't believe i'm on the team i'm, I'm so shocked and his fans are riding for him harder than he rides for himself they're like nah bro you belong there blah blah, blah. and why i'm mad at myself why i'm mad at myself is because just the other week you guys probably remember a video i did where i'm like yo Cole is not even on the level of Kendrick or Drake. And I, I said this, I said, yo, who? They're not even on, he's below them. And then people were like, nah, man, you, you know, like, how are you going to say that? You're tripping Drake, a better rapper than Cole, this and that. And I'm like, you know what? Cole has been dropping. He, he consistently, I checked out the mixtape. The mixtape was hard. I'm like, yo, I, I should reevaluate. And I, I deserve that for not sticking to my guns and being open-minded. See, that's the problem with being open-minded is you end up with situations like this when you're open-minded to someone and he spits in your face. Cole just spat in my face. He spat in all your fan all his fans' faces, all the people that be riding for Cole in the comment sections on Twitter. I don't ever want to see you again. If you have a Cole profile picture, I might just block you because, I mean, the guy just... <sighs> so I'll get into a little bit of detail. He said, man, the lamest thing I ever did, you know, people were saying, oh, what are you going to do? This and that. I had to, you know, drop uh, a couple of songs and, you know, just these other two guys that I'm blessed to chase their greatness. It's like, what? And then <laughs> keep in mind, this is Dreamville Festival. This is North Carolina. This is where he's from, his city, his festival. You know what he does? He's like, oh, how many people in Dreamville love Kendrick Lamar, man? Yeah, like make some noise for Kendrick Lamar. The guy that just dissed you out of the blue when you've shown him nothing but love. He says, F the big three. You send a warning shot towards him. And before he even responds, says anything about it, you're breaking down on stage. What is this? And I had to, and I also said it on Twitter where I regret this. I'm not deleting the tweet, but I regret this. I said, man, Drake ain't even respond yet, which the sentiment I still have. I'm like, man, pack it up. Like he is, is he's not, he's not up there with these two guys anymore. He doesn't want to compete. But after seeing what Drake did, there is no big, it might just be big me and Kendrick's right because Drake hasn't responded yet. And Cole just pretty much scored on his own goal. Dude knocked himself out. You, you guys seen that recent clip of this really, really fat, overweight, like the uh, fighter or something, this woman, and she just walks into the cage or she just runs into the cage and she knocks herself out and she loses to this woman that was significantly lower weight class than her. That's what Cole just did. Drake has been MIA. We don't even know what he's doing. He just finished his tour. People are whatever. So it really is just Kendrick. He All he had to do was drop that verse and he just hit two birds with one stone off of this. I don't know what Drake is thinking about this because he's probably just laughing because this is going to be the subject for so long. And this is something that Cole can never, ever, ever recover from. If he realizes he's wrong and he tries to come back aggressive in any capacity with anybody, we're just going to laugh at him like he's a joke because he is a joke for saying this. Hey, Kendrick comes out of his way to diss you. You catch some strays with Drake and then you decide to defend yourself and you hop on and you apologize for defending yourself. What part of the program is this? This is why my goat. Yay, my goat Wayne, they would never, ever. So I need you to reevaluate your goat if it's Cole. I mean, it was never mine. So we just need to pack up Cole. If Drake comes back, we might have a, a top two again. But there will never be another big three and never a, another top two. It's it's over. Cole has put the nail in the coffin for how he's going to be looked at. Hey, this is on the level, it's not on the same level, but this is how we felt when we saw 
Dennis Rod, not Dennis Rodman. Whoa, let me not put disrespect on Dennis Rodman's name. That man went to North Korea twice. Shout out to him. When we saw how Scottie Pippen was being treated by his wife and then apologizing to her for her cheating on him and, and doing all this nonsense, we, were, we just became disgusted with Scottie Pippen. And that's the level of disgust I feel right now for J. Cole. He's like, why did you even drop the song? You can't even stand on it. If you make a mistake, let's say you did believe it was a mistake, which it's not a mistake. Oh, they want to see blood. Man, nobody's seeing no blood. There ain't no beef. You just decided to defend yourself. And this is the first time he really gets tested. He's like, man, I feel like I'm moving how I was moving in 2013, moving wrong. And my people are going to be mad about this. They better be mad about this. Cole will never be able to beat the glaze, deriding accusations. He's just a guy that's j just made it in and he's so excited. And I, I feel, I don't feel bad for Cole at all. Zero zilch. The guy is, he's a loser. He's got imposter syndrome. The guy's been in the game for 15 years. He was signed to the Jay-Z. Also, I wanted to congratulate him recently because he's not even with Dreamville. It's Cole World and Interscope. So he's like independent with his own label deal right now or partnership with Interscope. Nobody really talked about that because we were focused on the disc, but I can't even congratulate him on that anymore. So, man, my, my thoughts are so scattered. I had to like laser focus in. I know I usually go on tangents, but this, this just got me. I've, I've never seen anything like this. I haven't. And you know what got me even more irritated? It's the people that are making comments like, oh, we love that he's self-aware. And people are like, yeah, you know, he knows Kendrick uh, is, is better than him. Oh, we, we uh, it's just not in J. Cole's nature. It's not who he is to, to this. I'm glad he acknowledged that. They're calling him a punk. That's the nice way of them saying, oh, yeah, like, it's just it's just not in his nature to be competitive. He's just like a punk. He's just a little chihuahua. Like, he might bark now and then. But, you know, you can put him down quite easily. He's, he's easily tameable. He's not even on the table with these other guys. <laughs> you know what's the funniest thing about this? We've got JT. JT and Glorilla are going back and forth. We had Nicki Minaj and what's her name? <laughs> well, we had Nicki Minaj and Cardi B going back and forth a lot. But we had Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion going back and forth. We've got female rappers that are more competitive and standing on business than the guy that's supposed to be the big three. Can you believe this? Yo, honestly, we might have to issue an apology to Saweetie. And I think I somewhat did a video about this before. When Saweetie said the girlies is running rap, she might be right. I mean, she, it wasn't including her. But yeah, she might be right. Because if this is what the big three's doing, pack it up. Pack it up. Kendrick was right. And, you know, I like Kendrick. And I like Cole and I like Drake. I've always said Kendrick and Cole and Drake clear. Cole. Even though I don't listen to Kendrick that often as, as much as I do Drake or even Cole, I would say I listen to Drake the most. But I definitely don't like Drake more than Cole, if that makes sense. Like if somebody said objectively artist hip-hop wise, hip-hop artist wise, I would say Kendrick for sure. And rap skill. But Cole, Drake is up there. I, I, I would say he maybe edges out, uh, no diddy, pause. I would say Kendrick maybe edges out Drake lyrically, but when Drake pulls out the lyrics he's up there but the reason why I have to put Drake underneath is because of the ghostwriting and writer allegations and reference tracks and all that so we've got female rappers standing on business what an alternative world we're living in huh also we had the back and forth between Ice Spice and Cardi B like where is Cole's sense of it's not even ego or pride but just self-worth at this point <sighs> Pack it up, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you as disgusted as I am with this? Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Man, peace.